Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I am getting ready to make a necklace using the uh, the leather beads that I made. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but you know what? I'm going to just go for it. I want to see uh, what we got going on. Oh, and then what I did too is I went ahead and made some wire accents. So I can use these on there as well. So we'll see what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and use these red and gold boho beads. And then I have these coral beads I'm going to use too. And for the pendant, this is going to be our pendant. So I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm go ahead and put this on. We'll start with our pendant. I need to make sure this is even. The wire, making sure the wire is even. So when I begin to string everything on. And then I like to have flat pieces so that I don't see a lot of space. And that's not, I don't think that's going to work because all this space right here. So the th my thought is when I put a piece against here, it fills that in. So it fill it in. But this piece is not big enough. The bead is not big enough. So what I'm going to do, and I found what works really good for me is these coconut pieces or coconut chips. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on each side. This one might be too small. Let's try this one. Okay, so. And you can see how that fills it in just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple more. Because I just don't like all that extra space. And it just does something for it. These are not really huge enough either to close it all the way down here. But it still looks good like that. So I'm going to put a couple more. The brown coconut chips. So then what I'm going to do is I need to lay this down so I can start stringing it. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with some of these little small beads first just to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to put a couple of these on. Actually, I'm going to do three on each side. each side um not bad so far it's still not closing in good you know like i like right here and that's only because this part is so huge 
and I had thought to take it off and then put, um, because it does have the little round part right here that this part is hooked into. And I thought to take it off, but then it kind of takes away from the necklace, you know, from the pendant. So I was like, okay, we well, can't always have it your way, darling. So I'll do it like this. And if I don't like it, you know, at the end, I will do it like that. So it's almost like if I don't like it, I just figure ain't nobody going to like it. And I know that's not the reality, but you know how we do. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red beads. And I'm going to start beading these on. And I like the way that looks already. And I'm trying to keep this in the camera. I like the way that looks. So then I'm going to take my leather beads. Or maybe, let's see. Yeah, we will. We'll start putting these on. So we can have them on the lower part of the necklace. This is what we have so far. And you know what I'm going to probably do? I'm going to probably take all the charms off and just leave it with just a pendant. And then see how that looks. Because I do like that. This would have been nice even without a pendant. Okay, so let's finish threading it. So I got that, and then I'm going to take these beads, what I put, wrap the uh, wood beads on. So I'm going to put that on here, and then we'll put this one on here. And then I think what I'm going to do is we will put another coral bead. And we'll take another one. These are the prettiest beads. Do that, and then we'll take um, another one of our gold. Take one of the gold, then we'll take another one of our red. And then we'll see what we're going to come up with. I like that. I just love this right here. I mean, I like love it. I'm not going to even lie to you. I love it, love it, love it. Um, just very different. So I am going to take the charms off and just leave the, um, the pendant with the necklace part. Okay, so let's finish this off. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to put more of these little small with these on here. So we'll put a couple, a couple meaning three on each side. Put another three on this side. Two, three. Let me see. You know what? I'll put four. I'll put four on each side. 
because we're at the end of it, the end of the necklace. So we can just go ahead and put four. And I probably won't have to use too many. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. That is like gorgeous. Okay, so. I'm going to put a couple more beads at the end of it. Um, I guess we'll close it off with the red beads. Close it off with the red beads. And then we have these little small gold beads we can put on here. And then we'll do this one. And we got two more of these, so we'll put these last two on here. Actually, let me take these gold ones, gold ones off. And then I'll put another wood bead on each side. And then we'll put the gold bead. Some better coordination. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll close this off with my finger so I can wrap the other side. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to take, so I have it here already wrapped off the other side so that the beads don't fall off when I begin to close off this side. So I'm basically just going to bend the wire like we always do. Take the wire, wrap it around like so. Oh, somebody was asking me about using the wire for the necklaces. And doesn't that make the necklace like stiff? No, it doesn't. You can actually manipulate the necklace to fit exactly how you want it to fit on your neck. I mean, for me, it's like perfect. And all the necklaces that I have sold, the necklaces that I've sold with wire, people still wear the necklaces. I get compliments. I mean, they be like, this is, it's sturdy. Um, a lot of times when you buy necklaces that have the thin wire or whatever it is that people use, um, sometimes beads come off. Sometimes things break. Wire does not break. <laughs> what wire is not gonna break chances are whatever you make with wire is it's gonna stay so i i haven't had a problem and i hope i never have a problem you know with making necklaces or anything with the wire it's just very sturdy and um it's not stiff at all it's not heavy at all it's like just like if you were using you know whatever thread that or wire whatever that you use for your necklaces generally um, I'm going to wrap this around here like maybe one time because I want it to stand out a little bit more around that bead. And then we'll take this up and around. And I use uh, 18, 18 gauge, which is the, to me, is like the perfect, perfect gauge to be able to for everything, earrings, necklaces, I don't care what I'm ma making, 18 gauge is like perfect. Okay, so I went ahead and rolled that. I'm gonna close it in and then smash it down in the middle. Oops, see wire, look, you see how that bent? No worries, bend it back up and smash it down in there and that's that side. And then we're gonna do this side so what I did is I turned that, but I think I made the hoop a little bit too big. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to fold that down again and then begin wrapping. That's my alarm that keeps going off. I got a dentist appointment at uh, 9 o'clock, so I went ahead and put my alarm on so I don't go past the time I need to be leaving. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this wire around here because I want that to stand out a little bit more. But then I'm going to go back up here, start wrapping this around. And and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> take the wire 
end of it, curl it under like so. And then I'll close it up in here. Oh, wait a minute. Might have missed it. Okay. And even if um when you string your necklace, if it's a little bit too tight, you can always hold hold the necklace, well the, the beads, and then push up just a little bit. And then what happens is it loosens up here. It pushes up a little bit more. But be careful because you don't want it to push so much to where it has you having to rewrap something or add something else onto it. Okay, so let's see what we got. Because I love it. Um, see, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to take, take that off. Because it's all around the back. So I'm going to take this one off. Yeah, I just poured it. So I'm going to take, take this out. And then, let's see what we got. Um, I'll come back and put the lobster clasp and everything on it because I'm going to make some more necklaces. And then I generally will come back and just uh, do the clasp on all of them at one time. Oh, yeah, I like this. Okay. Now, this is what our leather beads... Pendant, and we got our little charms on there. Our little coconut beads, our wood beads, our coral beads, our leather beads, our boho beads, um, our handmade wire accents, more leather beads, coral wire. Nice. You guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Because, and then in my mind, you already know what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to make a necklace with just leather beads. Um, I'm going to have to go and find, I need some really flat, flat beads. So I'm going to go find some really small flat beads, even if there's something, uh, something like this. And I do have a lot of these beads like this. So I might even do something you know, with these little bitty beads right here because I got a lot of those. And then if I go through all these containers around here, I might have a bunch of small beads because my thought is I'm going to make more of these beads and then uh, glue beads all over them like I did with this one, with this. You can see that bead right here where my finger is, like this. And I love the way this, this came out. I mean, I absolutely positively love it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a lot of, make a lot of the leather beads. And then it will literally be just leather beads that I'm going to make the necklace. But I like the way this came out. I really love it. The colors, the wire. And that's amazing once you put it together, the leather beads with a bracelet. You know, I mean, necklace, what they look like. That's really nice. Really, really nice. I like that. Oh, that's nice. I'm happy with this piece. It came out really nice. That's some good stuff. If you guys are creating, um, be sure to post pictures in the Jury by BDK Creator Zone so we can all see, you know, what you guys are, what you guys are all making. Uh, Miss Debbie, you asked me about the link for how to do those wire wrap earrings. Um, 
I embedded a video at the end of that video for those cassette metal charm earrings. I also went ahead and posted the link in the comment section right up under your comment asking for the link. So I did do that for you um, so you can see how to, how to make those. And um, again, I haven't got to all the emails. I am going to start reading those emails maybe later today. I'll be trying to get to them, but I haven't got to them yet. Um, and once I get to them, I'll, I'll answer you, uh, whoever you are. Um, I like these, though. You guys, y'all like this? Because I like this. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Shoot, got me ready to order some different colored leather. Because I like it. I really, really like it. And I probably will end up doing that. But anyway, thanks for being subscribers. Uh, we have a lot of new subscribers. And I hope you guys are picking up some really good tips. You're getting some really good uh, jewelry making ideas. And uh, just all that good stuff. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for your emails. You know, just everything uh, for all your support and stuff. And I really do appreciate it. And um, I was looking at, uh, because I go into the dashboard for YouTube. And just about every video somebody selects <laughs> that they don't like the video. Right? And I'm saying every video, somebody selects that they do not like the video. So I don't know if it's the same person or if it's somebody that's, you know, just not liking it. And guess what? That's okay. And that's okay. Nobody, I mean, everybody is not going to like what I do, what I say, you know, and that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. And I was thinking about that, like when I'm, when I was looking, because one video, I think it might've been a short. One of the shorts had like four dislikes or whoever, four people didn't like it. But then you have like 40 people that did like it. Um, and then I was just thinking to myself how crazy that must be for people who are like, you know, really big people in a sense of celebrity status and stuff. How, you know, things will get to them if a person don't like something or a person says something bad about them or you know, you, you just got to be secure and stuff because I could care less if you like it or if you don't like it. You know, that has always been my mindset my entire my entire life, right? And I've always had the mindset of if you like me, you like me. And if you don't, you don't. And if you don't, you don't have to never say nothing to me. I just always been like that. And my mother used to always accuse me of that. She said, you're just so stubborn. And I said, no, I'm not stubborn. I just kind of like have a thick skin to the sense that if you allow people and how people feel about you to determine, you know, what you do and how you do it, that makes you a people pleaser. And for me, I've never been that. And I always say that in any Bible class that I teach or any workshop that I'm at, you know, to always be yourself, always be yourself. And if you notice a lot of these people, they lose themselves because they begin to try to please people. It's like, just be who you are. You know who you are. You know who, you, who you've always been. And then the mindset is not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody's going to like what you say. Not everybody's going to like what you do. And for me, that's always been cool. I never had a problem with that. So do me a favor. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you like it, like it. If you have a comment, go ahead and make a comment. Right? We're all one big family here on Jury by BDK. And everybody's comment and everybody's like or dislike is welcome. And be sure to enjoy the rest of your day.